Assalamualaikum and hi guys. So today we continue with topic 6, telecommunications, the internet and wireless technology. So these are the lesson outcomes. First, you may identify the principal components of telco networks and key networking technologies. Second, recognize the different types of networks. Third, explain how internet and internet technology work and how do they support the communication and e-business. And lastly, determine the principal technologies and standard for wireless networking, communication, and internet access. So these are the networking and communication trends. So we use actually your telephone network in your house. Okay, so this is what we call as the networking. Okay, so we use the PSTN, Public Service Telephone Network. So the PSTN will uh, connect to the multiple phone lines we call as PBX, Private Branch exchange and they have the extension multiple extension port okay so this is what we call as a PSTN now we move to VoIP voice over IP okay uh, so we use the internet to to connect okay uh, to our uh, telephone system okay uh, in the networking also they have the wired and wireless okay so <coughs> When we have wired and what we call as a wireless, um, wired usually, uh, we you have the cable and wireless there is no cable at all, so this is wired. So you have to uh, your laptop and PC you have to connect to the switch, switch can have to connect to router, router have to connect to modem, modem will connect to the internet. This is wired, but in wireless, what you will use <coughs> your tablet, your laptop, your notebook or your smartphone. So you connect to the internet, this is what we call as a wireless. Okay, more than 75% of US internet users have broadband access. Okay, and voice data communications are increasingly taking place over broadband wireless platform because everybody is about wireless. So we have five major components in simple network. Okay, first one we have client and server. Okay, so this is client and server. So client uh, will request uh, from a server to view or to request to send the data to any client and server will allow or not allow this, uh, the client to do that. Okay, so whatever uh, whatever that you view by using your computer, if you want to view Facebook, for example, you type www.facebook.com. If the server do not allow you to view the Facebook interface, so... Uh, the client cannot access to it. So, it is semua adalah function of the server. Okay. And then, we have network interface. Okay. So, this is network interface. Yang ni card ni, kita panggil network interface card, NIC. Okay. Link the computer to the network. So, dekat sini, yang port dekat luar ni. Yang port ni, selalu ada dekat desktop. Dekat laptop pun ada, setengah laptop ada. Kalau laptop yang terlalu nipis, dia tak ada. So, dia kena pakai this cable. Kita panggil sebagai network port cable. Okay. And then we have connection medium. So, these are the connection medium we have. Wireless, wired. Ah, ini wired juga lah. Nanti I explain kejap lagi. Apa yang kita panggil sebagai connection medium. And then we have network operating system, NOS. Okay, NOS, uh, this is for the server usually. Sebab client macam you lah, you boleh pakai apa? Katalah you pakai operating system apa? Saya pakai Windows 10, pakai Windows 8, Windows 7. Okay, so itu adalah kita punya client operating system. But for network operating system, usually dia lebih kepada server. So, I pakai apa? Windows NT server. So, dia ada server kat belakang tu. So, yang itu yang kita panggil sebagai NOS. Okay. And then we have hub, switch and router. So, hub will connect okay, network components sending packet of data to all other connected devices. Switch will filter and forward to a specified destination. And router will route packet to a different network. So, usually kalau you tengok dekat sini... So, ini, ini tak pakai hub. Okay, hub dengan switch dia lebih kurang dia punya function. Cuma hub lebih murah pada switch. Dan switch lebih powerful compared to hub. Uh, hub cuma boleh connect computer to computer. Tapi switch boleh connect between a hub pun dia boleh. Okay, that's why most organization dia dah try uh, to switch into switch compared to hub. Okay, so... Uh, so, katalah ini kita punya network. So, kita nak berkaitan dengan network lain. Maksudnya, internet luar lah. So, kita dah pakai router. So, router ni dia macam pintu pagar. Okay, pintu pagar untuk kita melalui satu-satu network yang berlainan dengan kita. And then, we have software defined network. So, SDN, it is the new networking approach in which many of these control functions are managed by one central program. So, dia adalah one-stop center. 
Okay, helpful in cloud computing. Okay, sebab kita boleh manage traffic load dekat situ. So, traditional network, so dia akan jadi macam ni. So, satu switch, maknanya macam kena melalui control data, control data, maknanya kena satu-satu. So, kalau bila pakai SDN ni, dia ada satu controller yang akan program semua sekali. So, dia control dekat satu tempat. Okay, so dia lebih senang lah dan lebih bagus sebenarnya. Alright, so this is the networking. So, kalau you tengok kat sini, ada yang pakai wired, ada yang pakai wireless. So, this is what happen in many organizations. Okay, they use the mobile phone, phone the smartphone, dia ada PSTN. Kadang-kadang you perasan tak kalau macam ada satu organisasi tu, tiba-tiba talian internet ni terputus, telefon sistem dia akan terputus. Okay, sebab dia kita menggunakan tempat benda yang sama. Okay, so that's why dia akan jadi macam tu. And then dia ada ISP. Okay, kejap lagi kita tengok ISP tu apa. So, the key digital networking technologies, so kita pakai client server computing, I dah explain tadi. So, internet is the largest implementation of client server computing. Okay. Number two is packet switching. Okay, packet switching is a method of slicing digital messages into packet. So, kita menjadikan kecil-kecil-kecil sebab kita tak nak benda tu macam, sebab you kena faham eh, uh, sometimes when you want to send uh, a data or information to the receiver, uh, the data become larger. Okay, so become larger. So maybe uh, dia akan menyebabkan perjalanan tu lambat. Macam you lah bila traffic jam. Okay, ada network congested. Even our network pun dia ada traffic jam juga. Okay, network congested especially bila macam banyak sangat data berlaku. Okay, that's why kadang-kadang orang suka tengok benda tu macam dia tengah malam. Kadang-kadang tengah malam pun busy juga kan. So macam mana kita buat adalah we come out with the packet. Okay, so uh, the network admin. They will allow you to do the packetizing. So, ini bukan kita buat eh. As a user, kita tak buat. Network admin yang akan access ke benda tu. So, dia akan kata, okay. So, data tu besar mana. So, dia akan packet-packetkan dia. So, dia akan put the number. So, nanti bila sampai dekat receiver, number tu akan tersusun dengan cantik. Okay, tersusun dengan cantik. So, whatever yang sender hantar, receiver juga akan terima exactly. Okay, so benda macam ni yang kita panggil sebagai packet switching dan dia akan jadi semakin laju. Kalau pakai circuit, so dia kena ikut, kena jalan mengikut lita. Kalau dia pakai packet, dia boleh jalan mana-mana. Macam contohlah, macam kita naik kereta kan. Saya nak lalu jalan mana, highway, shortcut, semua boleh. So, any as long as you can, uh, you can reassemble it back as uh, original. Okay, so itu pakai packet switching. So, dia jadi laju. And then kita ada TCP IP and connectivity. TCP IP uh, is a transmission control protocol, internet protocol. Most of the uh, computer device, okay, they have this TCP IP. As long, if you have the internet, you must have the internet protocol. Kalau you nak transfer apa benda semua, you kena ada transmission control protocol. So, protocol ni, you fahamlah, they are like something that you have to follow. Okay, you have to follow. And it is a common worldwide standard. Tak kisahlah, you pakai Apple ke, you pakai, uh, sorry, you pakai, uh, I, um, okay, iOS ke, you pakai Android ke, you pakai Windows ke, you pakai Macintosh ke, tetap TCP IP dia adalah worldwide standard. So, this is the OSI model, Open System Interconnection model. So, this are the layer. Okay, ini network layer lah. Uh, layer orang networking, dia memang kena faham benda ni. Okay, macam mana, uh, macam mana uh, data dia berjalan daripada application sampai physical. Okay, you nampak kat atas ni kan, application ni bukan data pertama eh, dia data yang ketujuh sebenarnya. Physical adalah data yang pertama. Okay, so kita akan baca macam ni. So, application usually adalah kita punya interface, kita punya software. Physical adalah kita punya uh, machine, kita punya device. Okay, so baca dia lebih kurang macam ni lah. Kalau di SPIP dia baca macam ni, dia ringkaskan. Maknanya dua layer ni jadi satu, tiga layer ni jadi satu. Okay, so komputer akan baca, macam contoh ni saya hantar, saya pakai Gmail. So, dia akan transportkan whatever yang saya punya email tu tadi, pakai internet dan melalui network interface kita, saya pakai apa, saya pakai komputer, saya ada router, saya pakai modem ke whatever semua. So, terus pergi dekat orang lain. Okay, uh, apa, komputer B. Okay, komputer B ni, so komputer B pula dia akan terima, dia akan on komputer. Okay, dan dia access to internet, transport dan dia akan open dia punya Gmail. Okay, different types of network. So, we have signal and uh, signal. Kita ada digital versus analog. So, this is analog. This is uh, digital. So, they use the modem. Okay, modem nama panjang dia adalah modulation, demodulation. 
it will translate digital signal into analog form and vice versa. So, computer ni dia faham digital. Telephone line ni dia faham analog. So, tugas model adalah tukar digital to analog and analog to digital back. Okay. And then we have three types of network. We have local area network, metropolitan area network and wide area network. Okay, so local area network ni dia satunya kecil. Personal area network ni, okay, you nampak kat sini kan. Personal area network ni selalu melibatkan Bluetooth technology. Topik 6, you akan belajar benda tu. Okay, lepas tu local area network usually macam satu level, satu bangunan. Kalau macam network ni tak besar sangat, so dia akan jadi satu building lah. Okay, and then metropolitan area network tu maknanya dia macam menghubungkan uh, banyak ni juga lah. Macam kadang kawasan bandar, selalu dekat bandar tapi building dia macam rapat-rapat. So, itu panggil metropolitan area network. And wide area network, um, the best example is the internet. Okay, sebab dia worldwide. Okay. Okay, then we have transmission media and transmission speed. Okay, so we use bits per second. So, kita ada hertz dengan bandwidth kat sini. Nanti you baca. I nak explain yang bawah ni. Okay, ingat tak tadi saya cerita pasal media. So, this is the, okay, so gambar sampai sini ni, ini semua adalah wired. So, this is wireless. Okay, so yang ni, this one, okay, yang ini adalah twister pair, ini pun twister pair. Cuma beza ni adalah, ini adalah unshielded. You nampak eh, tak ada lapisan kat dalam. Ini adalah shielded, dia ada lapisan ni kat dalam. Okay, apa bezanya adalah, satu prone to noise, satu tau tu tak. Jadi, macam, ada kan ada gangguan lah sewaktu penghantaran data. Okay, so kita panggil dia twisted pair sebab memang dia punya wire akan ber, ber, bersimpul macam ni. So, dia ada lapar warna. Um, so, dekat lapar warna ni, so dia ada white orange, orange, white blue, blue, white green, green, white brown, brown. So, dia ada lapan. So, kita kena luruskan dia untuk masuk dekat RJ45. RJ45 ni bentuk dia lebih kurang macam... Macam ni lah yang selalu yang you, uh, you connect you punya computer or uh, desktop kat rumah tu kan. Ha, yang tu yang tempat klik, ada bunyi klik tu, dia macam uh, ada bunyi klik tu, itu kita panggil registered jack 45, RJ45. So, nanti wire-wire ni nanti kita akan masukkan dalam registered jack, lepas tu kita akan clamp. Ha, begitu. Okay. Okay, yang ini pula, ini adalah coaxial cable. Okay, coaxial cable. Ini dalam coaxial cable. So, dalam coaxial cable ni, dia ada banyak ni lah. So, dia ada ada metal untuk, dia ada conductor dia semua. Tapi, kalau you pass the extra kat rumah, you akan nampak benda ni. Coaxial cable ni sesuai untuk TV and media, TV and radio, right? TV and media, TV and media communication. So, this one is a fiber optic. Okay, fiber optic is made of glass, glass fiber. So, dia sangat halus. Kalau you potong kat dalam tu, dia ada banyak lah dalam tu. Dan dia sangat, dia sangat mahal dan dia paling laju. Okay, dia paling laju. So, ini contohnya fiber optic kita guna pakai. Dan fiber optic ni juga adalah fragile. Uh, haiwan pemusnah sangat suka lah dia sebab dia dibuat daripada kaca kan. Kemudian kaca. So, dia sangat fragile. Dia mahal. Uh, most probably in organization, they love to use fiber optic together with the twisted pair. Because twisted pair is the cheapest. Okay. Dia tak boleh pakai fiber optic itu memang kaya betul lah. So, dia akan pakai dua-dua untuk support the communication network. So, this is the wireless. So, kalau kat sini kita pakai satellite. So, dekat satellite ini, satellite ni dekat atas, um, in our class, kita, ayat bagi tahu, uh, satellite Malaysia tak berada dekat ruang utara Malaysia, duduk dekat negara lain sebab kita terlalu dekat sangat, negara kita terlalu dekat dengan Singapura, even sebab so, kita cuma ada lebih kurang 3 ke 4 satellite. Kena tengok balik dekat Miasat, Miasat, you masuk Miasat punya website, tengok how many satellite in Malaysia. Um, kita ada setelah ya kita di Miasat, Miasat 1, Miasat 2, Miasat 3. Um, and then kita ada, you are maybe dengar rasa sat, you sat. Tapi kena faham, is it satellite by the government or the private sector. Okay. So, satellite akan berada dekat atas. So, dia akan berputar mengikut ke putaran bumi. Okay, putaran bumi. Dan dia, dia tak boleh lah. Dia tak boleh bersentuhan antara satu sama lain. Dia bukan kawan, kawan, hi hi semua. So, dia akan pancarkan dekat Earth Station. Earth Station berada dekat muka bumi. So, dekat muka bumi ni dia kena bertindak sebagai sender and receiver. Earth Station ni. Dia akan menerima dan mem memberi dan menerima. So, kalau macam contohnya kita ada live telecast. So, maknanya kita memberilah. Kalau kita menerima, so menerima. Okay. So, I stop sampai sini dulu. Okay.